in Puglia, where white cliffs like icebergs sing by the cerulean sea, he strolled beneath the melting marble sun. As was his wont, he plucked up each washed up bottle that the sea had belched up in a winter storm. Unbeknownst to him, he was curating a museum of trash, for the bottles were from his grandparents' time. They made the townspeople realize that plastic is like a boomerang. It always returns, whether it's a woman gazing at her pregnancy test strip. It's negative once again, for the microplastic in her veins has created a traffic jam in her endocrine system. Or it's the asthmatic child on the playground whose lungs crushes air out like a trash compactor as the microplastics in the air fall like toxic snow on our children. It's even seeped into the belly of the earth. And in her indigestion, she belches them out as blue plastic rock through her volcanoes. As fishing nets mixed with molten stone become part of the geology of the earth. And so Enzo Suma, the beach stroller, a curator of trash, showed us through Archaeoplastica, his museum of polymers, that plastic is forever. For when you see a bottle of Ajax from your grandparents' time, you realize plastic never dies. But humans do. So the question is, why do we choose to cause our own extinction?